A Honey Oil Falls man marched with a torch Friday night in Charlottesville. Now his face is on flyers spread all around his village right here at home. And that's where Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Green is live. He has a copy of the flyer and he spoke with the man at the center of all this controversy. Burke? Hey, Deanna, here's the flyer right here. It says, no Nazis in our neighborhood. The mayor told me uh, these flyers or this flyer was posted all around this uh, village park and all around other public places in the village and even dropped off at people's homes. They've since been taken down in the park and in the village. Now, the man's name is uh, Jared Kuhn. I spoke to him on the phone today. I also talked with his father on the phone. Both of them declined to talk to me on camera for this story, but his father explained to me why Jared was in Charlottesville. Jared Kuhn's father told me that Jared was in Charlottesville to protest the removal of the statue of Confederate Army General Robert E. Lee. He was simply there to preserve history, his father told me. He is not a neo-Nazi, as people are claiming. The picture was shared on Facebook, including on the page of a former classmate at Honeyoy Falls, Lima, named Alex Gay. Alex did not respond to my message today. So, I reached Todd Pritchard. Who posted a comment? I was so shocked. I, I didn't know what to say really. So I said, Oh, great. That's what Jared's up to these days. Pritchard says he was a year behind Kuhn at school. How do you remember him in high school? Uh, he was a funny guy. He liked to show off, you know, goof around in the hall. And I thought he was pretty funny. You said you looked up to him? Yeah. Just wanted to be a goof like that too, you know, enjoy high school. When you saw his picture, posted on Facebook at that rally. What did you think? Uh, I was shocked. I was a little nauseous. Um, just I wouldn't expect that from him. I also reached out to people who posted supportive comments about Jared Kuhn, but none of them agreed to talk to me for the story. Sometime on Monday, the mayor of Honeyway Falls says the flyers were plastered around the village park. The village removed them the same day. I showed one to a person who was at the park today. She only asked that we blur her face. I think that this neighborhood, this community is better than that. I feel like we shouldn't be, who cares if he was participating in an event, freedom of speech, whatever. I don't know. You can't attack the whole family. Jared Kuhn's father says his family has received death threats. This is so far over the top. He told me, we just want to be left alone. I emailed the Monroe County Sheriff's Office today to ask them about that death threat. The Sheriff's Office got back to us and said that they contacted the family and the family declined their help. Coming up at 6, the mayor explains why the flyers were taken down and Jared's father explains to me what happened to Jared on Saturday when things got violent in Charlottesville. In Honeyway Falls, Berkeley, Green News 10, NBC.